This is the tale of Ponda. A curious girl, Ponda often felt she was being followed by something else. A darker presence in the corner of her eye. A crooked hand reaching out, but just out of sight. One winter noon, she ventured down a dusty road, where she met a withered old man who sensed her forebode. With crusty eyes and wrinkled mouth, he frowned as she described the dark presence following her around. She didn't bear to face what might be there, just too frightened to turn and face its glare. With a smile, he sighed and said, Although you're afraid, my dear, you must face up to this presence and recognize your fear. Life must go on. Considering his wise words, Ponda thanked him and traveled on. Before long, she felt it there, sneaking up behind her, breathing in her hair. With terrified eyes, Ponda turned with all her strength, saw grimy fingers appear from nowhere, snatching at her, taunting her, growing in length. A body appeared from the depths, a cloaked figure, the one they called death. Ponda couldn't believe her eyes. She wanted to scream, but tears were all she could find. She begged for more time, promising any life mistakes would be set right. Gently taking her hand in his, she felt all fear simultaneously dismiss. With tender voice and wanting tone, he told her, I'm just tired of being alone. I've fallen in love with you, Ponda, and I wanted you to know. Your commitment to me would mean a life in darkness. I'd care and love you. We'd be eternity's partners. You'd sit upon life's throne. Recognizing loneliness, Ponda promised she would. But not until she'd reached a ripe old age and lived her life as she should. Promising to leave her until that fateful day, death let go of her hand and disappeared from whence he came. Several years passed quickly, for Ponda now felt safe. She no longer felt the presence, the fear of being chased. Until one morning she entered a forest ripe with growth, where she once again felt tingling and knew she'd been followed. Turning, no fear presence, she witnessed death's gritty hands reach around her shoulders and pull her to the ground. Her soul was released to the air from beneath the woodland soil, death grasping her body close, no remnants to tell her toil. Perhaps Death was angry, or his love was just so strong, he couldn't bear for them to be apart, not for so long. Or possibly her time to die had finally arrived for Ponda. It'll never be known which is the truth, and that is something to ponder. The End